Hi beautifuls, I am Dr. Kahina, aka Kahina Matata. In my last video, I spoke all about how to find a loctician, some important things that you wanna look out for. But in this video, I'm speaking specifically to those of you who want sister locks and giving you crash course and all that you need to know about sister locks consultants. And so if you are exploring the possibility of getting sister locks, Stay tuned, I got your back. Start off, there are three different tiers of Sister Locks Loctician. There are trainees and certified consultants. The trainees is actually broken down into two, so that's why I said there's three tiers. There are approved trainees and qualified trainees. Both of them completed their Sister Locks course, which is a four-day class, and they have agreed to implement the Sister Locks method as taught. However, the approved trainee has already submitted certification paperwork and they have gotten their work approved on at least one client. So that was really important to me when I was looking. I knew that I wanted someone who at least had some proof of their work and that their work has been approved. So I was leaning more towards approved trainee or outright consultant. But why would anybody go with a trainee when you could just go with someone certified? And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it might just be who's available to you in your area, but another big piece of it is the price. If you are looking to get sister locks, but you're looking to save money along the way because girl, this is an investment, okay? If you want me to let you know how much I invested to get my sister locks, let me know in the comments, but it is an investment. Okay, going with a trainee is a way to save some money. Now let's go to the consultants. Certified consultants have completed the class, they've submitted all documentation that's needed, and their work has been approved on at least three clients. But even within the consultants, there are a couple of other certifications. There is R certified, brand ambassador, and trichology analyst. There may be some additional ones, but those are the three main ones that I saw. So our certified and brand ambassador, they have been certified for at least one year as a Sister Locks consultant. They had at least 10 clients and they want to demonstrate that they are knowledgeable about working with different type of hair types. They are considered very proficient in their work. But brand ambassadors specifically, they are considered advanced practitioners. They have been able to show to the Sister Locks office that they are doing things by the book. So if you want to make sure that someone is doing your Sister Locks exactly as they were designed to be done, no variations, it's completely by the book, then you might want to look for someone who is a brand ambassador. For a trichology analyst, this would really be valuable to you if you have had issues with trichotomania, or in other words, excessive hair pooling. So if that is something that you're dealing with, well, I want to say I'm sorry that you're dealing with that and I do hope that you are able to find a way to manage it better. That may definitely be something that you want to look for within a Sister Locks consultant to make sure that the person that is working with your hair is knowledgeable. Let's go ahead and go on to the Sister Locks website so you can see exactly how to find a consultant. So we're going to go here to www.sisterlocks.com. All right, so now we're here on the Sister Locks website. And what you will see on here is a whole lot of information. Like here, look, they going on a cruise, y'all. <laughs> so it actually said, I don't know if you missed it. There we go. 30 years of Sister Locks. They are celebrating on a cruise in December. So that's actually really exciting. I did not know that it was 30 years of Sister Locks this year, but let's, let's go for it. So on this page, there is just so much information about Sister Locks in general. If you want to become certified, there's information about that. So let's go here to finding a consultant. This is the main place where you want to go. What we are doing is exactly what it says here. Do your homework, okay? If someone is not listed on this website and they are offering Sister Locks to you and charging you Sister Locks prices, be careful with that, all right? That's all I got to say. Anyone who is a certified consultant who is approved as a trainee by the Sister Locks committee, they are going to be here on this website. They may not have a profile on the website, but their name will be listed on here, okay? So let's go ahead to locating a certified consultant. When you go to a certified consultant page, there are listings internationally and domestic. We'll go to Florida because that's where I'm located. Hey, if you in Florida, let me know in the comments, y'all. This is where that brand ambassador, R certified, and trichology analyst comes in. You will see those certifications right here, red and bold. So look at Yvonne, she got it all, okay? What you'll notice on here is that anyone who has a hyperlink, it means that they have a profile. If they have a profile on the website, then you can go ahead and click to learn more about them. So let's go ahead to her. Okay, look at her work. Her work is so beautiful. You go on to their profile and you're able to already see 
their work. You're already able to see a little bit more about them. Here it has their Instagram. Um, so you can go ahead and follow up with her Instagram to see more pictures, see more about her. And some locticians will even have a um, form, a contact form right here on their page that you can go ahead and reach out to them. If you are looking at someone, someone's name, and you want to know a little bit more about them and they don't have a profile, that's okay. You may still be able to find information about them before even reaching out. What I did was I went ahead to Google, I typed in their name and I typed in sister locks next to them or the city that it says that they're in. And I was usually able to find their websites or their Instagram. If I came across someone and I could not find a website or Instagram for them, y'all, I just had to put it to the bottom of the list because I was not about to be cold calling people like, hey, I saw your name on the social Locks website. And some people might feel fine doing that, but I just personally didn't feel like I really wanted to do that. I was able to find my loctician by Googling her because she did not have a profile here on the website. That is really everything that you need to know about finding a sister locks consultant itself. Definitely check out that other video I mentioned in the beginning because that walks through a lot more of what you'd want to look for about the loctician and how to really analyze if this is a good fit for you before going ahead and meeting with them for that paid consultation because you do have to pay for these consultations. If you do end up sticking with the consultant that you had a consultation with and they install your locks, then the consultation money gets thrown into that. So it's included. But if you decide not to move forward with them, then you possibly just lost out on $50 or even more than that. So definitely do your homework, do your research. If you are interested in this journey, like, comment, subscribe. Happy to answer any of your questions in the comments. Bye beautifuls. Thank you for watching.